this point, you can then <laughs> do the refresh out of combat to gain it back. Oh! Do I just say I refresh and take 10 minutes? Basically, you would take 10 minutes to revitalize yourself with nature, re, um... Ah. Basically, yeah, you would basically just take 10 minutes to revitalize yourself with nature, reattune to okay. everything that you need to reattune to, and so much and so forth. Okay, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we got a long rest after the last session, right? Yes, you are currently long resting. Yes. <clears throat> okay, sweet. With that being said, Rika, make me a stealth yeah. check. Ooh, me, awesome. My first roll. What am I gonna do? I, I heard that Weezer Rift. We're streaming right now. We can't have that. We'll get copyright striked. <laughs> get Weezered. That is a nine. Um. It's not very stealthy at all. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not very stealthy at all. Uh, Peter, Rob, what are your perception DCs? All right. Perception DC. It would be, it would be it your perception be the modifier, modifier plus, plus ten. ten. Yes. 16. Okay, so you both hear, um, like, the crunching of leaves and basically dead sticks, and then you hear somebody climbing down the rope you set up to go into the hole of the building. I swear to the it's gods. climbing down? They are climbing down into the hole that you set up your camp next to. Uh, yeah, so um, is there a Never suicidal really maniac? She's like, they'll never know. They'll never know. They'll Most never know. likely. <laughs> oh, it's too late at night to be dealing with a suicidal maniac. Alright. Um, what What do you want to do? Uh, Rika, yes, by the way, do we go uh, after does him? your character yes. have any kind of dark vision or low light vision? <laughs> that must be for that messy problem. Alright. So. Because uh, if be not, under your you senses. need to use a torch to see. Yeah, definitely. I do not think she does. She definitely. Yeah, she has a torch though, and a you know flint and steel, so she can. She'll she'll probably have a torch in her hand. After hearing this person go down into the hole, you then hear them spark a flint and steel and light a torch. Oh, for God's sake. She's so um, stealthy, I'm not lying. She's just like, oh my God, they'll never know. They'll never know. <laughs> Juzon, should we go after this person and warn them of what's to come? Or do we leave them to die? <laughs> Small one. Go warn it. <laughs> Small one. Uh, me? Alone? In there? Don't go in. Don't go in. Okay. Doable. <clears throat> Rari goes to the hole with the rope. Um, excuse me over there. What do you think you're doing? It's very dangerous down there. We should know. We almost died. Yeah. If you value your life, please get out of there. And... She's, well, she's very flustered that they found her, so she just looks like trying to look a little nonchalant, like, um, hi, really? What the yes, yes, it's here. Uh, yes. oh, there's a lot of dangerous things. By the way, we heard you all this time. Uh, um, <laughs> blushing. Look, uh, yeah, uh, no, I was just going for a walk, trying to find some rocks to study. Oh uh, yes, to find. Uh, <laughs> To find your long lost treasure. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Very, very uh, long. I would like to, uh, I would very much like to roll, um, <laughs> uh, what's the equivalent to insight here? Oh, no, uh, there is no insight. What would basically happen is, is that, um, Rika's character, I like uh, would roll deception okay. against your perception DC. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I'm not believing he's just... She's just going on a stroll. Especially a stroll to my prize money. So, um... I guess the question is... 
mysterious person? Or are you telling the oh, truth? Sorry, I did not hear any. I think you just said sorry. My internet cut out. What just what happened? Uh, -oh. uh you, you need to roll a deception check, Rika. Okay, deception. Got you. Where is that? It's right here. Oh, my deceptions. Not that good, but it's decent. You gotta beat a sixteen. I got a twenty-two. Dang. They are one hundred percent telling the truth when they say they're here to just look around for some rocks. <sighs> yeah. Looking around for some rocks. Okay. You know, I'm an optimist. I, I, I heard that they were really uh, fascinating and possibly rare specimens in this. Am I in a cave? Cave. <laughs> you are not in a cave. You are in a building. <laughs> I still call it a cave in this cave building type thing. Yes. <laughs> Again, she uh, was not trying with it. Also, you see fascinating rocks. <laughs> no. Although, if you see some gemstones, pass them up this way. I could use those. Um, but seeing that you're down there yeah. we're planning to explore the caves further in the morning oh oh, oh probably a lot together. safer you know if we're both yes. going the same way yeah yes very interestingly we are going the same way how did you stumble upon this place by the way uh, I you know, I was, I was in town, and I heard some rumors about uh, a cat. Is this building? Building with very interesting flora and fauna and rocks. And um, you know, I was told by some old man, I forgot his name, to you know check it out. Rory just turns to Duzon. You believe him, or her. You believe her. Oh no, I look like a him. <laughs> so it's fine to say him. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> or do you trust her? For now. Okay. Th three. Better than two. Indeed. Eritipo... Eritipo... Easy, well, easier to awake. <clears throat> do I see? Th do I see them physically, or like are we just Air talking? Pitos to each other hasn't the been. Um, uh, as yeah. far as I'm aware, talk you um, you are still in the hole, so you can't actually see them. You just hear their voices. I was like, oh, there's another person with you. I was about to say because if she saw a giant tree person, she would definitely say something. But if she can't see them, then she's probably like, oh, there's another person with you. Yes. <laughs> Essentially, right? So, um... There. I'm sorry, I cannot shake your hand, you know. I'm in a hole. Well, get yourself out of the hole, come to camp, and we'll discuss strategy tomorrow. Pleasant Of course, of course, of course. It is Kitchen. much too late at night for this. And I already had a very frightening vision. I Ooh. do not need another. There's... No, I am a doctor. Not that kind of doctor, but a doctor nonetheless. Visions. <laughs> you don't want to know. But. Sounds heavy. <laughs> maybe you'll find out at some point, but. Gub up the rope. We'll be in there by morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, she'll, like, climb, she'll climb back up, because, like, she's caught. There's no point in trying to go by herself anymore anyway, so. Like, uh, you just see a short little bronze kobold. Oh. With, like, electric blue eyes. Electric blue eyes. Interesting, actually. Oh. Well, hello there. How are you doing? Thank you for warning me about the dangers of the hole. Yes. You're welcome. And who might you be? Oh. I am... Vixarian, but my colleagues and friends call me Vix. Vix. Your name is? Rari. Rari. Lovely. I'm a sort of 
historian of ancient graves and such. Historian? That is so fascinating. I study history a little bit myself. I'm more about practical knowledge, though. <clears throat> Exploring these caverns is a bit of a favorite activity of mine to study them, albeit very dangerous. But the most Heaven's... interesting are always the most dangerous, aren't they? <laughs> Ooh, yes. Right. Oh, God, hi! <laughs> Read this. He's probably larger than her. How tall is this guy again? He is. <laughs> he is. How tall are you? Well, Seven Rory's foot three foot. Oh wow! Yeah, so he is. He is towering over her, and she somehow did not notice him because she was so engrossed in talking about something she's actually interested in, which is like history. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, hi." Hello there. Greetings. Oh my. Are you a plant? Yes. Living, talking, thinking fauna. She writes this like really quickly down like a notebook she just had. And just puts it back down like, I have never met a living, talking plant before. How are you? What's your name? Doozan. Dudes on. Wow. <clears throat> she's slightly rude because she's just kind of just checking him out. She just doesn't get how he's thinking. <laughs> so now oh, it's so much very nice to meet you. Are there are you are do you come from some are there more of you? Are you like a recognized race? I'm sorry, I just have not read or seen you before. We shall discuss my race at a later time. For now, we wait until morning. Oh, sure, 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 sure. She's a little embarrassed. She got a little bit uh, carried away. <laughs> Research immediately just distracts her from everything. So, yes, yeah, sleep, sleep, sleep. The thing that we all need that we shouldn't. Yes. Fragile mortal bodies. Fucking is. Yes, yes. And Rari's like, yes, yes. And he's starting to walk away back to camp. And he's like, yes, yes. Uh, sleep, yes. <laughs> Uh, as you get, get back to let's get sleep. as you guys get back to camp, you notice that Erpidos is still fast asleep. He has not woken up at all. Oh, he is a dead sleeper, isn't he? <laughs> you, 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 follow the small one. He will take you to somewhere for rest. Oh, okay, okay. Why not? Why not? Why not? <clears throat> uh, can she? really quickly just check them out to see if she can get like a general vibe of them because she was a little bit suspicious of them still because she's you know trying to track down this guy and she hasn't completely written them off yet um to yeah see, you, like, just feel. by generally looking at them you can gather what i've told you before yeah they're just you're, yeah they don't seem malicious or evil even though they look very out of sorts yeah. so she'll probably go along yeah it's like, uh, I thought you were suspicious, but you, you, you I've talked to you, and now I, I, I'm kind of, it's fine. <laughs> you can kind of rule them out as suspects. Back to the drawing board. Okay, time for sleep. <laughs> uh, I would like to roll a perception check to see if what? I catch on to that. My suspicions. First off, mm -hmm. if not she, really, if she's because muttering. this, is, this okay. is something that's happening entirely within this character's head. Yeah, she's oh, sleeping. never mind. Yeah, she's okay, I, I didn't know that. Oh, so no, I was like... Yeah, I thought this was uh, muttering under the breath. My bad. No, this oh, was no, a thing... Because of how their class works, uh, their leads and their um, clues are either in their notebook or in their head. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind that. If it, those were, like, what Rari does, then Rari was going to roll perception. Because he mutters to himself. I got you. you know, if she just gets in her head, like, okay. she won't talk sometimes, yeah. and she'll think she's answered your question. Which April, uh, yeah, she just she just lays down. She's like, I I kind of trust these people. I got their vibe. They're pretty they're pretty okay. So she just goes to sleep. Rory does likewise. 
as you guys manage to get some kind of shut-eye for the rest of the night, in the morning comes, and it's time to roll for weather. Ooh. Oh, Here. what are we rolling? D20? Each of you roll a D20. Oh, oh please D4. don't fail me, dice. Oh, dear. Six. Hurricane, anyone? Hurricane? No, please don't roll a hurricane. Just a flat D20, right? Yeah, just yeah. a flat, uh, roll basic D20 roll. I have gotten a 15. Okay, six, I 15. got it. Nah. Six, 15, nine. Yes. Hey, look at that. Addition. Nine plus six. Ha ha ha, math. Oh, um, oh God. Oh, it shit. is. I think about that. A very cloudy day. Uh, yet another day without sun really shining too much through. Uh, Duzon, it is barely enough sun for you to get your nutrients throughout the day. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Um, fortunately, there is no wind. Okay. Unfortunately, it is raining moderately. All fires oh. that you had going are extinguished. Oh. Great. Uh, and if you are out in the rain and not undercover, you become drenched within maybe like ten seconds. Oh. At least my, my body is hydrated. <laughs> At least it's hydrated. Jesus Christ. Well, I think we should get out of the area. Umbrella. Get some cover. Yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm back. All good. Um, okay, where were we? As you guys yeah. discuss under, like, the tarp of a tent or something like that, um, mm -hmm. yeah. I would like for you all to roll perception checks. Oh, Jeez. dear. All right, Bro. perception. That's a 10. That is a 17 for me. I've got a yeah. 22 um considering this character isn't really trying to hide uh you all pretty much see them uh as they start they basically uh considering you're near the edge of the forest they kind of swing out from the trees, land on the ground, and run under your uh, tarp for cover. Oh! Um, and you see like... a small, uh, not really small, but like four foot ish uh, monkey. Mm. Oh. Monkey. Interesting. Hello. Um, and he's kind of just like um... uh, brushing himself off. <sighs> Hate the rain! <sighs> Fair, fair, fair. Um, Duzon, did you just hear a monkey speak? Yes. Is, is that is that not normal? I'm 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 not used to. I've speak. never seen one. He kind of so just I, looks I, at you I, square. He looks at you with a tilted head. You're seeing me as the oddity. Yet you're the one talking to a tree. Huh, whatever. <laughs> I got over that weirdness a long time. <laughs> oh, I was just rolling with it. I thought this was all like, you know, how are the course for you guys? Because it's he kind of uh, finishes uh, brushing the rain off of his. Um... What the? <laughs> what is he wearing? Actually, he is wearing um, what looks Nothing. to be temple <laughs> garb. He looks like he's wearing monastery's robes. Mm, interesting. Okay. Ah, on a priest. What can I tell? What religion? <laughs> uh, you want to try and roll religion? Yeah, yeah. Why not? I, I'm I, trained I, in religion. I want to see too. Yeah, she doesn't believe in it, but she knows enough about it. You know, you got to know it to to fight against it. <laughs> Could I roll the religion just to be sure, Don? Sure, you can go ahead and roll religion. One. That is a fourteen. 
Uh, 14, and what'd you get, Rob? 21. There is no religious symbols anywhere. This is more of like a, um, monastic monastery rather than a religious monastery. Oh, I see. So more like just devoid of earthly pleasures, but not worshipping a deity. I wouldn't even say devoid of earthly pleasures, because his, 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 like, outfit is kind of draped in, like, sparkly uh metals interesting i wonder hmm. you <laughs> she's kind of baffled because she doesn't it's 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 a dichotomy in her head she's used to either you know priests being very uh non-earthly pleasures or or nothing it's um hello your robe is so interesting and shiny Ah, oh, yes, uh, thank you. That's why I was trying to keep it out of the rain, you see. Um, pardon the intrusion. I was, pardon my rudeness. I was quite the, in the rush. Um, my name is Sun Patara, and he kind of just bows. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Hello. Not getting the weirdness of the situation at all. Like, oh, uh, hello. My name is Vix, and... I've only just met them, so I will let them introduce themselves. <laughs> the name is Rari. <laughs> um, if any of you hold your hand out to shake uh, his hand when you introduce yourselves, instead of grabbing your hand with his hand, he grabs your hand with his tail. Oh. <clears throat> Never. Is this a, is this a, a monastic custom? Oh, no, just force of habit, yeah, more or less. Mm -hmm. I like to do things with my hands, so if people are trying to, like, reach for something, this usually deters them from grabbing my hands, you see. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I, I, I'm sorry for being rude, I should have, I should have asked before. <laughs> he kind of, like, shakes his head. No, don't, I don't mind. She was, like, in her head, just fascinating. Again, just writing something down, because it's just like, what is happening? She's never seen any of this stuff before. Just, like, monastic, wears shiny robes, uses tail to shake hands. <laughs> um, what were you doing in the rain? Um, well, I was kind of just in the area. I was sent on a mission uh, by my temple, you see. Um, they heard this, uh, well, rumor, story, something is going, uh, something bad is going to happen. At least they think so. Mm, something bad. Doesn't um, it doesn't. Something bad like a crazy wizard bad? Mm. He kind of shrugs. Could be. They didn't really tell me really any detail, they just told me to get to the capital of the Elven country, and well, I traveled from somewhere to get here. I'm sure it was somewhere. Somewhere? So you don't remember? Oh, no, I do. Oh. My memory loss. Very common. Um, hmm. I traveled from somewhere to get here. So you don't so... have any more, like, you know, clues up to what you're looking for? Not really. I only really know to head towards the elven capital, and, um, I've journeyed, um, I, I, co I come from, well, some would say it's a journey towards the west, but this isn't the west. It's really more of the east. So, the capital city, um, information is what you're looking for, or... I'm looking to stop whatever bad, and he kind of like, uh, with, with the way this character talks is he gestures with his hands the entire time he is talking, so he's like, mm. he's kind of like, whatever bad is going on, I really just mm. need to stop it, because that's the mission I was sent on by my temple. Mm, okay, well, what better I... thing to do to stop a threat than get information, right? Yes, yes. Very much so. Knowledge is power. Say, 
Maybe uh -huh. there's something in a crypt that we just discovered that could help us figure out what this threat is. <gasps> oh, yes. Would you like to join us? Sure, I'll join you. May Splendid. You said you're from the Elven capital? I believe he said he was going to the going Elven to capital. the Elven capital. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I live around. Stopping there. some world or some sort of big dangerous threat of some kind. Well, let's gather some information to help our new acquaintance. Exactly, yes. Very well. And if there's nothing, of course, apologies, but then we'll go into the city and truly see what yes. we can find. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> you know, Vic, Vic, Vixen is very much just like, oh, he must be important if he's going to the capital of the Elven cities because she knows that only important people would go there. So it's immediately a little bit more respectful than she usually would be. I will warn you, there are some very nasty creatures down in that crypt. Um, small and unassuming as those slimes were, they can well, deal quite a bit of damage. And by that, I mean we escaped barely with our lives. Just oh, the two of us, Duzon and I. He just kind of like flicks his head. Oh, so you're amateurs! How quaint! Rory just bites through his teeth and he's like, Yes, amateurs. Let's, yes. Then, <laughs> alas, let me take the lead. And you see as he uh, backflips into the hole through the roof. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Rory's like, clap. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> we can't believe! We can't believe! He just, he just walks and he's like, let me just take the lead. Take the lead. Do it! But he gets over himself by the time he gets to the yeah. hole. Uh, uh, as you look into the hole, it's easier to see without light, because light is coming in through the hole you created. Um, uh -huh. He grabs the rope, slides down it, and is basically jumping off the walls to, like, lead you guys forward. Okay, Vix is impressed. Let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> Show off. Show off. Rory slides down the rope. Yeah, she'll gingerly go down. Again, she's not trying to slide down. But she is thinking in her head, I mean, is the monkey wrong? <laughs> Keeps it to herself, but it's kind of just like, I mean, slime? <laughs> it uh, goes down into the hole. As you all enter the uh, hole, uh, he's just kind of uh, waiting at the top of this staircase. So, how far were you able to get in before, um... You almost died. <laughs> well, the ambush happened near the... Like, well, we descended quite a ways from the stairs, and I was examining some of the strange mushrooms on the in the mold growing, and that's when the ambush happened. There was about four of them, if I'm not mistaken, just swarming us. He's kind three of there of just counting. That is one, two, and then three. It, th there only seems to be three, so if there were four, one might have gotten away. Yes. Very insightful. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're in there the was now. <laughs> very likely more than three, but only three were managed to be defeated by Duzon and I. Yes. And Eripatos is dead asleep still. I'm going to say camp. he's waking up by now and is following you guys into oh, the Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, she's, oh okay, she looks cool. and she finds and she's like, oh, are that is that oh, are those death caps? And she just you know <laughs> goes off on her is own that, to is, get some death that... caps. Uh, uh, you well. see her uh, kind of almost trot over to these slimes and then start picking the mushrooms off of the slimes and grinding them into a powder and then putting them in a bag and then putting it in her satchel. Uh. Oh my god, I never get good alchemical ingredients like this! <sighs> oh. You're... welcome? Oh, yes, thank you so much! Uh, it's always so hard to find these, because people usually just ignore slimes because they're so weak. Thanks. 
for the reminder. Oh no, no, no! I didn't. I did not mean to assume. I mean, thank you. <laughs> she just, she's like, oh, I didn't mean to be to say that, but also she doesn't want to really apologize. <laughs> so she's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, no, thank you again. I, I th- so good ingredients. Mm-hmm. Looks around trying to like find something to change the conversation. Excellent. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got good alchemical ingredients. Yes, 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 yes. Um, oh, the class thing. Um, that's odd. Can I use that? I'm in the cave, right? Uh, what are you using? Uh, the investigator class thing. When you enter a new location, such as a room or a corridor, you immediately notice one thing out of the ordinary. The GM determines what it is, or whether there is anything reasonable. Um, the immediate things that you notice when you enter this room specifically, uh, before going down the staircase, is you notice that there are murals of, uh, what you recognize as dedications to the elvish afterlife on the north and south walls <gasps> oh my god so interesting immediately steps up to them is just kind of like almost running her hands across them seeing what's going on I wonder what's going on here these are elvish paintings I read it I saw them in my school I, I was in a mixed race school with some of the elven kids they would talk about them. they let you in a school well, half elves, half humans. It wasn't. Ah, uh, okay. Because those guys yeah, were gesturing in the general direction of the city. They don't really like that. Yeah, no, it, w- it was a half elf school. I got in on a scholarship. These are so interesting. <laughs> she's just, she's just fully engrossed. She kind of forgot that they were even there, honestly. <laughs> well, anyway, where there's three slimes, there are probably more. Yeah. Fighting them while they're ambushing you is not exactly an easy task. Now, where did our pal go? Just sketching down the pictures, trying to get a rough sketch of the mural. He's basically <laughs> at the top of the staircase, and he says, hey, it gets a bit dark down there, and he snaps his fingers, and a globule of light appears in his hand. <gasps> oh my god, magic! Magic? I a little bit, but it, oh, this is so interesting. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, we have a light source going down. That would have helped. Um, he kind of uh, hands it to you. You want one? Well, I could see in the dark, but my friend Duzon needed it most. Yes. He hands you the ball of light. Oh, it looks so adorable. Oh, yes. Does this mean, does, do I get nutrients from this? <laughs> That's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> Cause I didn't get, cause I didn't get nutrients from the sun, cause of you know rain. You know, I'd like, nope. I'd like my breakfast. Damn it! Actually, you know what? It. Screw Jeez. it. Yeah, he touches you with the light globule, and you start to glow in a twenty-foot radius. Oh, <gasps> yes. This is so interesting. She is furiously writing. <laughs> She's like, what? You uh, have my thanks. Uh, Duzon. You, uh, specifically, your chest piece uh, now glows brightly in a 20-foot radius and dimly in another 20 feet after that. Me. And this okay. lasts for the entire day. <gasps> well, well, golly shucks. Huh? Hey, How about friend. that? Um, can you also see in the dark? <gasps> Me? No. Oh, Do you not like... not you. Our recently met friend. Um, he kind of um, he kind of just shakes his head. Not really, but that's why I have. And he kind of points to Duzon, while, who's now glowing. Yes. 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 Interesting. All right. Well, magic is so handy. <laughs> Again, magic is so handy. Do you not have magic? He kind of points to you, Rari. <laughs> I don't have magic in the spellcaster kind of sense, but I could breathe lightning. Well, there you go. Magic. Magic? I suppose. Okay. Rari is starting to warm up to him a little. Well, right unless there. anybody Please. else has something we want to do in this room, I say we move forward. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. 
I don't think there's anything that I'm, I just I quickly sketch the mural though because they're just so interesting, and then we move forward. <laughs> Rough sketch, go. All right, let's set the mood, shall we? Ooh. Oh, I oh, don't know. Like <laughs> the one time I embrace yourself. Light. <laughs> mood lighting does not sound good right now. <laughs> no. Oh no, god, doesn't. The music I don't like that. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> okay. Down we go, Duzon. <laughs> yes. As you go down these stairs, the unmistakable sound of dripping stops. And it gets warmer, uh, drier. Um, and as you start to reach the bottom of this staircase, it opens up into this large crypt with dozens of coffins. Oh. <laughs> well, I think we found at least the entrance to the crypt. Let's see. Looking around. If I were a place to store the riches of my recently deceased, where would I hide? Can I make an, uh, uh, um, blah, 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 underworld check? Uh, yeah. Uh, you can roll that while Prince, uh, this is a new yeah. room that you can use your ability in. Okay, Any yeah. special uh, modifiers to that? Uh, no, just using your underworld lore to recall. Like, are you trying to like recall knowledge? Um. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, Vixen, as you walk into this room, the uh, rows upon rows of stone, marble, granite coffins. The oddity that you see is actually towards the back of this crypt, and it is a large, uh, almost... You can't quite tell what type of metal it's made up of, because it's so covered in dust and dirt, and just kind of has been... It's very clearly seen the passing of ages, but it's this large statue of the elvish, um, goddess of... Essentially, the elvish goddess of passing the elvish goddess of taking you from life to death oh of the, of the limbo oh. crossroads oh my god so interesting is this oh my god it must be and she's like kind of like i wonder uh and she's gonna try to detect magic to see if maybe there's like traces of you know like divine magic on the statue or around it um or the oh, go ahead what does detect magic do exactly? You send out a pulse that registers the presence of magic. You, uh, yeah, you can detect an illusion magic only if that magic is best at the lower rank than the rank you might detect magic, which is only one. So, um, basically, yeah, I can just detect the presence of magic. That's it. I can't... There's no information beyond the presence or absence of magic. Okay. Um, so with that... You can't really detect anything magical on the statue specifically, um, but next to the statue are, like, some coins that seem to have some kind of magical essence to them. Interesting. Immediately goes up to them and just kind of examines stuff. Like, I wonder, what is this? As you examine the coins, uh, Rari, what did you roll for your underworld check? Seventeen. <laughs> You're looking around, and you, from experience, know that they don't typically, s at least elves, because you've, you've dug enough elf uh, tombs before, um, you know that they typically, uh, especially with big crypts like this, they would keep one locked thing that has all of the, essentially, values from a family in that family's quarter. So, if you find the quarter, you're probably going to find the valuables chest. My family. 
we can find what we need to do, Zon. We need to find family chambers to this crypt. Find also, another thing you would know by experience, the bigger the family chamber, the more wealthy they were, obviously. And particularly, we're looking for very big chambers. Small ones will suffice as well, but let's try and get the heavier stuff first. As much as we can carry, really. Yes. And, of course, if there's any threats, we need to clear those out. Um, yes. Anything else? Sounds fine. I mean, she's... Uh, you have to drag her away from these coins, because she wants to identify the magic on the coins to see what's going on. If there's, like, an effect going on or something. So, do you want to try and, uh, roll Arcana? Yeah, it's an Arcana. Okay, this is an Arcana check. I'm glad that it is, because I have, uh assurance on arcana so i'm gonna take that plus my proficiency in arcana all right so that'll be an 18. uh with an 18 you can't exactly the, identify what kind of magic uh is on this but you kind of get the hints of divination like you would smell the uh you can smell the astral scent coming off this coin you can feel kind of like I'm trying to f describe how seeing the future would feel. Uh, destiny, I can kind of feel the weight of destiny on You can on kind you. of feel that this coin is heavier than a coin is supposed to be. Um, mm. You kind of get the temptation to like lick it. It tastes like how you imagine like p the purest of raw cane sugar would taste. Oh god. Okay, she's obsessed with this now. Okay, fine. Then she'll she'll probably go wrong with them, but she's definitely gonna try to take a coin because she wants to study it further. <laughs> you take this one coin and you kind of just shove it in your pocket for now. Yeah, just a little little tiny suit pocket. It's like, oh, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, Rory would like to find a. Fairly large familial chamber, or rather, if he can't do that right away, uh, where they're at, he would like to assess whether this itself is a family chamber. Um. Uh, what would you like to do to determine that? Um, I figured to use the underworld knowledge that I have. Just gazing around and trying to find clues of if these are all familial coffins together or if these are just the general dead. Um, People that didn't have any particular worth to them. Yeah, you could go ahead and make a roll, uh, a recall knowledge with the underworld. Uh, Duzan, is there anything you would like to do while you are, uh, while your compatriots and a stranger, uh, two strangers actually, uh, look around yes. this room? I'm just going to take a quick gaze from where I'm standing with the perception check. Alright, go ahead and roll that. 15. That is a natural 20. I'll get right to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15. Uh, Duzon, you kind of look around, at least within the limits that your glowing chest plate will let you look around, because it is dark in here. Um... Uh, okay. you notice that some of these coffins have, uh, religious symbols to them, some of them have, um, nothing, like, literally nothing, they're just blank coffins that seem destitute and, like, ill-maintained, um, and you also notice that the monkey person has climbed up onto your shoulder. Kind of familiar, isn't it? Um. He kind of, uh, uh, Sun Patara kind of looks at you. Uh, uh, well, I'm kind of used to climbing trees. Are, are you comfortable with this? He kind of asks you, Duzon. Sure. Yeah, see, he, he doesn't mind. Oh, uh, uh, sure. If he doesn't mind, then I don't see the problem. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. 
<laughs> and he's just kind of like crouched in like um almost looks like he's ready to pounce on anything that might be like a threat uh on uh, dudes on his shoulder oh you got a little protector uh rari are you still there yes um, as you're kind of looking on the walls, these things are, like, these crests or doors or whatever are typically on the walls. Um, and as you're looking around, you kind of find, uh, the same statue that, uh, Vixen did. And above that statue is a large, like, uh, 15-foot wide, 20-foot tall brand of some kind of it's definitely the brand or crest of some kind of uh house but you can't really tell which say vixen mm, yes take a look at that their symbol there Oh, and she'll just lean in and um does she recognize it from like growing up near El? Uh, what does that mean? Not really actually. You wouldn't recognize this uh this clan's huh. uh, you wouldn't recognize this house's guild at all. Is there words? Because she she does speak elven and read. You she do read speak elven. elven. Um You see the words on it of Conquer? Betray, enslave. Oh, that's violent. Um, I don't recognize the house. It must be very, very old or very, very rich, and probably people that would never associate with me. But I, I do see very troubling words of conquer, betray, and enslave. You said enslave. Ah, uh, yes, enslave. And you read the house name as House Dunmar. The House of Dunbar. House of Dunbar. Hmm. Almost like a distant memory. Can't I? I don't recognize it though. Well, see, they don't sound nice though. <laughs> well, their dead is dead. Yeah, dead is dead. And I was tasked to retrieve the well. For some distant relatives of these families. So, entrances would be the next step. Let's see, how do I want to get in? Uh, rather, some Patar kind of speaks up. What are you talking about? about? We're already in. Oh no this particular area. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because if I understand you rightly, there's a door there, or if I, am I tripping? There is not a door there. There is just oh, the, there okay. is just the a house symbol and then the statue below okay. it. So from there, can Rari deduce where a door might be leading to this crest? No. 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 Mm -hmm. So there's the Dunmar wealthy family. Now, where is their chamber? Rory's gonna take some time to observe the crest to see if he could, as we explore further. Um, as you take some time to like thoroughly study this crest. Yeah. Uh, does anybody yeah. else want to do anything while he takes the time to do that? I don't know if I've already studied the crest, and I don't see anything about it. Um, is there any... I don't know. I feel like I should start pursuing a lead of some kind, because, I mean, I did suspect that they were involved. Maybe not anymore, but this, 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 this family seems very suspicious. Um... So I can't... You can certainly try to pursue a lead. What does pursuing a lead entail? Pursuing a lead is, uh, once per ten minutes. You can spend one minute examining the details of one potential clue and designate the subject related to that clue as the target of your active investigation. 
This tablet, this subject is typically a single creature, an item, or a small location, such as a room or a corridor. Uh, I don't need to know the identity or purpose or nature of the subject, but I do need to be aware of its existence. So maybe I'll do the family, because now I'm aware of their existence. I don't know the identity or the purpose of them, but I know their existence. So I'm going to pursue them as a lead. They're a family. I can do two, and I'm going to choose them as one of them. Okay, what benefits does that give you? Whenever I attempt a perception or skill check to investigate something related to them, I gain a plus one bonus to the check. Gotcha. Yeah, you definitely, you kind of like make note of that name, the House of Dunmar, uh, and you yeah. kind of focus in on it, making it one of your leads. Like, they just seem so suspicious. I mean, destroy, it's, it's very, very violent. Almost serial killer violent. <laughs> Just in her mind. <laughs> Duzon, you see as Sun Otara kind of leaps down from your shoulder, goes up to one of the coffins, knocks on it. Uh, he's going to attempt to open open the stone coffin. Oh. In Rari's experience, oh. mm. does that bode well? <laughs> to her. Oh. Um, are you going to try and do anything to stop him? Because he's opening it right oh. now. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stop him. For... Well, you can't. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. He rolled That's a natural like... 20 plus 6 on his athletics. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna be able to outstrength that. You, you see him do it, and you're like, oh, no! And then you... <laughs> so, oh, he's body. Oh, he did it. Ah, uh, so... you might not want to... You're like, you may not want to do this, uh, but before you can even say that, um, with surprising amount of strength, this small monkey man, uh, this small little monkey just kind of pushes the lid to this stone coffin open. Uh, I'm sure you're going to regret that decision. Oh dear, dear, dear. He kind of looks over it. Just a skeleton! Well, Oh, 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 No booby traps. He kind of reaches in, pulls out the skull. See? Holds oh, it up. Oh, oh, guy, I really would move back away. She goes forward. He's like, oh, actually, it is kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, like, oh, right, sorry. Uh, respect to the dead. And he just kind of tries to carefully place the skull back where it was in the skeleton. He cracked. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, he kind of uh, knocks it against the side of the coffin, causing the skull to fracture a little bit. Oh. Oh. Wait. No. That's not good. Um, well, if, as long as it doesn't come up to kill us, we're fine. I mean, I Probably. just took its head off. I mean, well, although yeah. undead do exist. Yeah. yeah, and we just so happen to be wall to wall surrounded by potential undead. I mean, um, you want me to open another possible. coffin? No, 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 no. We are, we are solidly good. <laughs> Very much okay. Thank you. Besides, we don't know what kind of protections were placed in here. It's better to be safe than sorry. Yes. Very much that. He kind of <laughs> shrugs. Ah, very well. Um, and he kind of climbs back up onto Duzon's shoulder to take his perched position again. Uh, once we've determined it's safe, maybe then we'll open some coffins if the curiosity gets you. He kind of tilts his That's head. For now. He kind of tilts his head. Well, how how did how how would you determine if it's safe or not? Like, uh, testing to see if there are traps to guard the tombs. That, that's mm -hmm. what I did. Yeah. Yeah. In a more sense of not to try and trigger them. Well, you know, I did the old one, two, three, four, push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's one, consider two, three, ourselves four. lucky push. that it didn't do anything. Yeah, one, two, three, four, push. We, we all know that one. Be weary oh. of four traps. Jesus Christ, help us all. He kind of looks at Duzon. 
I'm not on the floor. Oh, true. For all of us who are grounded. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. So Duzon, I, and Vix need to worry about them, I suppose. Yeah. Um, although, from that height, if you find anything that could swing and slice us in half, that would be useful. I lost my d20. Where'd it go? <laughs> I lost the d20. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, we have kind of It actually disappeared. That's not fun. Oh no. It didn't even go that far. It's just a black die on a black surface. Well, yeah. Oh, that's awful. That's the problem, I guess, right? Like, it's a black die. Uh, is it painted with, like, a silver or a gold or a white paint? No. With the numbers? Uh, it's white paint and the numbers. Then it should stick out a little bit. I have no idea where the hell it went. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, uh, I'm sure it's like right in front of my face and I just can't see it. Yep, it was. Flashlight? Oh, okay, well, good. Crisis averted. It was under my keyboard. Oh, oh, rip. I hate when that happens. Oh, rip. Um, but yeah, he's going to roll his perception check to see if he can see anything on this aligning. His perception is plus six. That means he got a nine. He can't see anything on the ceiling. Oh, God. Well, nothing on the ceiling, I suppose. Um, well, not really that I can see. All right, that's good news. That means you and Duzon, mostly, probably, will not get sliced in half. Yes. Or in some un other uneven way, so that's good. Um, hmm, what other things can I do? Um, well, I guess, um, are there any pathways that are evident um there is a pathway on so the wall with the statue and the emblem of the family that will be designated as the north wall okay there is a pathway on the east wall and the west wall the south wall is where you guys entered this room cool okay um while he's at the statue does he notice anything particularly shiny um, there are, uh, not really, the only thing that was, sh there is, like, coins kind of scattered around the statue in kind of like a tribute, Ooh. uh, coins and gems, uh, nothing that, um, the statue itself is also made out of some kind of metal. Gems? Mm -hmm. Rory would like to inspect one of these gems. Alright. You know, get a sense of what they're worth. So, what are you gonna use to do that? I will use my society skill. Since I'm not really uh, one to craft, per se, but I do know relatively that, depending on the gem, depends the worth. So you're gonna try and uh, use your society to try and like uh, recall knowledge on how much gem is worth for? Yep. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. That is a 18. All of these gems are glass. He puts them back down. Oh, great. Glass. Uh, but the coins are real. They are real, uh, tin coins. Tin. Tin coins. Well, a collector's item. Uh -huh. He 
takes how many are on the statue? There's or about around it, I should say. There's about like eight. Rory takes four. You now have four. And kind of pockets them away. Hmm? You now have uh as you kind of uh pick up these coins, they are dirty as shit. Oh wow. Yeah, I figured as much. Like, you can, f as you pick it up, you kind of feel your fingers sink into the dirt and grime and crust that has gathered around this coin. That's to be expected of a coin this, of this kind. Alright, well, collector's item, dirty as it is, nothing but a little polish won't do. Or will do. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, what are the coins called? They're just tin coins. Okay. No bulk. Uh, no bulk they're no light. bulk. Ba basically, if you want to mark it down as actual currency, uh, eight of the tin coins can be one copper. <laughs> okay. Then, Wari is going to take the remainder of the rest of them to get one copper's worth. Alright. Um, as you're kind of standing there collecting the coins, Sun is kind of going to leap down from Duzon's shoulder, uh, run past you and start to climb up the statue to try to, like, investigate the walls. Oh, please be careful. He's kind of looking at the big emblem. Uh, and you can kind of see him reel his hand back to slap the emblem. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Um, I'm cautiously stepping away from where that is happening. Does, does anybody want to try and stop him? Mr. Monkey Man, um, please do not. Uh, she's gonna try to use logic. Or, you know what? She's gonna, she like, <laughs> like, laugh at him with the bladed scarf and pull him away. Roll to hit. It's like, my man, I, I, I respect to do a lot, but why are we just hitting random things? Um, <laughs> I didn't think Roll. curiosity killed the cat, also means curiosity might kill us all and the monkey. I did hit. The hit is just a d20, and then that's a plus six. That's 18. You miss. Dang. Uh, As you kind of throw I your would... uh, knife scarf at him, he kind of leans to the side while grabbing onto the statue, and you hit the emblem instead. Wow. No. no. It bounces I'll off be... the metal. It, it bounces off the emblem, but a metal clang. Oh, oh, oh dear! Does it? It doesn't push it though. No, it doesn't push it. Well, at least I got him away from it, and I didn't end up actually pushing it. So, I'm like, Monkey Man, please do not push random buttons, please. please. I wasn't gonna or push shield. anything. Jeez. Listen, <laughs> Monkey Man, we all would have pushed the button. You were just gonna do it, okay? We were all thinking about it, but you just wanted to do it. He kind of like Probably rolls his eyes. No, 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 you, you don't, you don't understand. What's uh, going on? He grabs the emblem and moves it to the side. Um. Uh, what it, are you? So what are you exactly trying thing? to? So so he is, grabs the emblem and pushes it almost as if it's on a track and like to the right and oh. you, you kind of hear like click 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 kutunk kutunk interesting um what exactly is going on did you recognize this thing i saw the track on the wall oh so you were just going to move the track i was gonna so... move the emblem along the track like i just did 
Um, right. And as you guys are kind of talking, discussing what just happened, um, yeah. the statue that he's standing on kind of starts to sink into the ground. Um, oh, that's... Is that good or bad? It's, he's, still, he's on the statue, so he's sinking into the ground. Uh, he jumps off, no problem. Okay. My okay. gut instinct is telling me this is either really, really good or really, really bad. As the I'm statue sorry. kind of folds in its arms and sinks into the ground, there is now a doorway on the north wall. Oh, a um, door. Interesting. A good one. A good, huh. a good thing happened. Jesus. Oh. Oh. I, I mean, okay. when a mysterious door shows up, you might as well just take it, right? When life closes one door, it opens another. Yes. Let's see what this door has to hold. Uh, uh, as you guys walk into this new room, I need you to make perception checks. Ooh. Uh, every perception check I make for these people. Alright, perception... 25. 18. Uh, as you open the door to these rooms, uh, and you take a look in before really anything happens, you see several slimes kind of scattered around, feasting on, uh, the bones of the skeletons. <gasps> oh, my! Oh, please, please don't alert them. Susan puts so his hand on his more hammer, mushrooms. Re re readying to pull it out. <laughs> He's traumatized, and she's like, Oh my god, so many more mushrooms! <laughs> yes, so many of them. Would you like to be the first thing they feed on in a long time? Ooh. You know, I may have enough mushrooms, actually. <laughs> I thought so. But don't worry, if they don't get to us... So they're blocking the way? Uh, they, they are- the way? they are kind of dotted around the room. You'll see in a moment. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is great. Rory does not want to become slime food again. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I haven't really looked at slimes in a natural habitat before. Their behavior is so fascinating. <laughs> yes, except for the ones trying to munch on you. you. True, true, true. But until then, they're fascinating. No. <laughs> I would rather <laughs> zap no. them with lightning. <laughs> no. no. There's no. a recent I've grown a distaste for slimes. Oh, as um, have oh, I. Yes. yes. Oh, I, I, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Forgive me. Forgive uh -huh. me. You have very There's... personal experience with slimes. I have yes, understand. personal. Yes. So I'm going to say that uh, this is the doorway here, and this is the walls. Can you guys see the map? Yep. Oh my, okay, yeah. And all around are just these splotches of green, blue, yellow, red, all different colors of slime. I know they look green on the map, but that's because the, that's the only color they had. <laughs> yeah. Great. We dealt with the green ones, and now there's all sorts of varieties. I guess you don't have enough of those, do you? Oh. Well, that is interesting. 
um, fixing. Uh, well, bright side is, but we'll have a bunch of mushrooms after this. Uh, assuming we don't get their attention and we take them out carefully. Yeah, yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's a good idea. We could we could lure one in and then kill it by itself unless you think you can handle all of them. I'm not going to handle all of those by myself. Absolutely not. Of course, of course. I'm thinking more a covert approach and if provoked, we mm. then destroy them. Mm, sure. Yes, 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 yes. What say you? Um, what's his name? Uh, the monkey is named Sun Patara. Sun Patara. What do you think would be the best strategy to deal with all of these slimes without getting us all killed, of course? I'm not very um, My claws weren't good for climbing that much, or at least for as long. But climbing, oh, climbing. Uh, uh, I've, 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 I've mountain climbed a bit back in my youth. So I could probably survive. Well, if none of you want to head first, I can do it. Oh, well, Yes. If you could. Take possibly some care of those slimes on the way. You know, make the numbers somewhat even. <sighs> He's just so impressive. Rory would like to enter stealth as well as he approaches near the door. Vixen is spelled in slight of crush in the monkey. Say anything? Uh, I thought you said something. That was not me. No. Oh, did you say something? No. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> private thoughts right now. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh dang! Fuck. Rory's gonna sneak up to the door entrance. Okay. All right, so far. All right. Against my stealth DC or class DC? It's your stealth DC. 18. That's actually... I didn't know that those things have motion sense. Oh, oh no! <laughs> so, you, you I'm a... Slip him a healing potion just before he leaves, because I'm just like, uh. I think oh, I dang. need to just. I'm gonna say that because you rolled stealth, they don't quite see you just yet, but the closer you get, they're... the more likely it is that they're going to be able to see you. They're suspicious of some sort of activity. They're suspicious but they of don't some know. kind of motion, and they are. Please don't yell me. Oh, I'm out You can't do it. Mm. Hold up. I gotta go real fast.
for our reasons. I gotta go real fast. For a moment. Actor. Uh. I want to. These slimes have motion sense, right? I am going to. Can't do any spells. And I'm, if I'm a walking tree and I'm very big, I'm gonna cause a lot of motion. So. I guess. The uh, part. I, won't, I don't wanna move. Because, like, if I move, then they're all just gonna know I'm there. I'll try to roll stealth. Most likely. I actually have a plus one to have stealth. I'm pretty sure, yeah. one so that was apparently we didn't get to know anyways uh, that's a 19 I'll move here Leather armor do that? Well, not that specifically, but is there a resistance to leather armor? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there is. There is, uh, uh, armor specialization effect. It doesn't say it, but hey. Are you on Nethys? Oh, that's for if there's rooms. I'll send you the screenshot. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's interesting. Okay, I get that now. Okay, cool, cool. Didn't know that. Yep. Interesting that leather armor could also be considered heavy or medium. Yep, and plus there's nothing that you can't put on it to make it better. True. I don't know necessarily yet how to do so but figure I'll learn somehow some way uh, 
Because if you don't, this will be a pro. That's a six. Oh, sweet, merciful heavens. Oh, he takes like one step and then sees one of the slimes that you need to get a beat on and then he decides not to do it. Yuzan, I think someone's been spotted. She'll be right back as to grab a beverage while we wait. I'm going to take this time to leave the restroom. Uh, if you are still here, please mark down that you have a second to go before you leave. Sweet. Yes. I will be using these eventually.
ASMR. Brought to you by our sponsors, Seaweed. I get high on that. Mm. Just Peter. <laughs> what? I have a question for you. I hopefully have an answer. Are you going to remember to eat your shit this fight? <laughs> oh, oh, it's definitely going to be a fight, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been forgetting to use that the whole time, haven't I? Peter! <laughs> you have a shield! Have like I almost died! Hey, Peter. Uh-huh? You know those, those times where you have, like, one action left and you're not sure what to do with it? Raise your shield. You can, you can use that action to raise your shield and give yourself a higher armor class. You know what? Fair enough. Oh my oh gosh, bro. That would have saved us a lot of grief. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, his shield gives him a plus two to AC. Whoa! I've 20 AC this whole time. <laughs> bro. Although there is a caveat, if your shield takes too much damage, it breaks. That is true. Unlike D&D, where the shield is infinite. <laughs> yeah. Unless otherwise stated by the dungeon master. Yeah. I like having their weapons break on circumstance. Your weapons are probably going to be fine, unless you really fuck them up. Right. Um, I will be right back. I will be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom. But yeah, Peter, surprisingly, your shield is pretty good. Damn, yeah. Um, because your shield itself has 20 hit points. Um, and it, when it does get hit and it, it does take damage, it reduces the damage it takes by five. Mm. So let's take, let's say it takes only five damage. It takes no damage. Hmm. Oh. I'm back. Hi, Rika. It's your turn. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. Right on time. Uh, canonically, she went into the bathroom and came back, and now it's time to fight. Um, <laughs> these are all the slimes, so they, I guess they woke them up. Where am I? I'm right here. Uh, these are all the slimes. You're not in combat yet because they technically haven't detected you for certain. But if you want to get closer, you have to roll stealth. Oh, I have to roll stuff. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I I'll, I'll, I'll roll stuff, then I'm gonna have anything that can help me. Ah, nope. We're just gonna roll flat. So, is she good at stealth? 
bitch. Not terrible. Okay. <laughs> ah, ah. Okay. It almost landed on two. It's a twenty-three. I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's say you Pass. get up to the, the column that the monkey is in. Awesome. Yeah, Path Builder tried to fuck with me for a little bit. Uh, how do I... Can I move it? Or... You should be able to. Can I select it, I guess? Hmm. Hmm. It seems yeah, to be... Computer. Let me see. Maybe it's Hello? Browser. Hello, yeah, sorry about that. I was at the restroom. I didn't know if you guys heard. <sighs> oh, that's the right leg. I'll try it again. Oh. I gotta be careful. I can't just throw myself into a chair. Not try it. Gotcha. Yeah. I just like uh, deleted the browser and ha opened it again, so I had to go through the ads again. Okay. Come on, fix. It's still not letting me do nothing. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah. If, just move me. It could just be me not knowing how to use this, to be fair. So... See that? Or, I guess ping. Where's ping? Uh, you click and hold. Click and hold? Okay, cool. So, where's the monkey at? Uh, it's the monkey. Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. So, so then I... I'm gonna go right behind Tree Guy then. Right here. Tree oh. Guy has a. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, she doesn't know what to do after that, so she's just gonna. <laughs> she's gonna be there. <laughs> oh no. This arrogant fool, what the shit? <laughs> He's like Icarus. Alright, in that case, I am gonna use my surprise attack to use my stealth in place of my, uh, I believe it's perception for initiative, if, I, if I'm remembering the bonus. Um, initiative is perception, right? Alright, so I'm replacing it with stealth. My stealth bonus. It's right up here with the... That is a... Um, I can just enter it in. How is the initiative calculated? Perception modifier. Okay, cool. Then I'll just add on the next one. There we go. 18.
Oh, I wait. I miscalculated. Whoops. Eleven on the die plus eight is not fifteen, but nineteen. Oh, it was brutal today in stats tutoring. You had more time to think of a point. Yeah. Oh, honestly, right? I hope it's not terrible. Perception is a is a plus eight. seven. No, it's a seven. Well, sweet. Okay. You're gonna cost me what? He's gonna cast awesome. Nice. So much. Each of you get a plus one bonus to AC until the start of his next turn. Okay. And if you have the shield block reaction, you can use the shield block reaction with the magical shield. Yes. It's so nice. Is it? We're in full fight now? Uh, yeah, you're in full fight. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of my actions to. I guess we're doing this. 
I'm going to move up to... I'm going to stay close to the group, so I'm just going to move here. That would cost an action, right? Uh, yeah, that would cost an action to step. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm going to step there, and I'm going to swing at it with my Warhammer. That is an 18 to hit. Uh, that is a crit, I believe. Yeah, that's a crit. Yes! 2d10! That is... Ooh. Oh my god. You're doing so much better than you did before. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, okay. No worries. Wow. Uh, I still got a 13. Bludgeoning. So 13 for damage? Yes. And now I'm going to raise my shield. And end my turn. Okay. So you have a plus three I know, ain't it great? Now I'm I but my AC is now twenty-one. Ain't it great? Ain't it great? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. You don't stop. Stop. Oh my god. I love this song. No, I don't do that. You do not. Five feet, okay. One, two, three, four, seven, twenty feet. Jeez, fine. My brilliant plan will not work. Okay. Oh. Turn. Nice. Oh, yeah. oh. My first action to step, second action to attack, third action to raise shield. Perfectly. Okay. All right. I'm gonna use an action to move. your attack on it to strike um uh yes any creatures that are not uh having their action done yet uh will be flat footed against me outside of the you know flanking rules etc Hope for something good. That is 22 to hit. All right. And I'm doing sneak attack damage in addition to my regular rapier damage. Yes. In that case, I'm just doing rapier damage. That is 10 points of piercing. Uh, 
I am going to use my last action to attack one more time. That is a 26 to hit. Cool. That's going to be seven. Uh, yes, seven piercing damage. That is my turn. All three actions spent. Cool. Um, real quick, would the slime count as being a part of my investigation because they're in the tomb? Well, then I'm about to devise a stratagem on the line right next to. God, I cannot remember. Is his name Rory? <laughs> the tree Rory. Guy. Awesome. Oh, Duzon is. Duzon, Duzon, sorry. Tree. Duzon is the tree Rory is. is the mm -hmm. Very bad at names. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to devise a stratagem. She is. She is. She is. She just forgets so easily. <laughs> she, she's she's so busy trying to learn other things. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna devise a stratagem. So I'm gonna roll a d20 to see if I hit it, and if I hit it, then I use the roll that I rolled for the d20. And that's going to be a twenty. Yes. Okay, cool. So she's going to use her bladed scarf. Because that's the reach weapon, so she doesn't have to move as an action. And she's going to, because she got to um, do uh, a devise a stratagem, she's also going to try to see if she can recall a knowledge about the creature she's looking at to see if she gets, you know, a, a plus one circumstance. But she has to critically succeed. So I have to do a knowledge check on these creatures. <laughs> it's it's very unlikely that I'm gonna critically succeed, but I might I might as well try. So which knowledge check? Yeah, I think that makes sense. And she's not, of course she's not. That's not one of the good ones. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can we can we can succeed on this, right? I just need everyone to blow in my dice. Come on, come on. Nope, nope, that did not happen. Nope, didn't work. Nope, so that didn't work. She's like, they look squishy. <laughs> so maybe if I hit them, they'll be less squishy. No circumstance on this. Okay, so she'll just, she'll, yeah, she rolled the hit, so she rolled a 20, so that's gonna hit. So now she'll just roll damage with strategic strike on that. So that adds a d6 of precision damage. Oh, so it's not gonna work anyway. <laughs> okay, well then, it is. Might as well just roll. Oh, well then, cool, she'll do that, then her intelligence would be plus four, so. And that'd be one, six, and one, two, six. Seven, one, oh, wait, no, that's Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a seven. Uh, seven slashing? Yes. Uh, you slice this thing with that brain open and something starts to reach out of the brain. How fascinating. Uh, it's a slime fiber. It's a slime fiber. You want to fix the design? Yes. That was a free action because they're part of my investigation, so I still have. Two more actions left. What do I want to uh, do? Free action, you have three actions left. Three actions left? Oh, dang. Okay. I don't even know what I want to do now because I, I didn't think I was going to get this far. <laughs> Same thing she's doing. Oh, 
so it's dead. Oh, it's oh. oh, it just becomes two things. Okay, cool. 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 She didn't think that was gonna happen. Now she's freaking out a little bit. She doesn't know what to do. She's a little like, Juzan, um, I don't know what's happening. I thought it was just gonna die. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so they can just replicate themselves. That's great. Okay, then, um, so she still has three actions, so uh, we're gonna use two of those actions to cast a antrip attack spell, uh, phase bolt. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I can only choose one creature, so I'm just gonna choose the one that's closest to me. I think that makes the most sense. And we're gonna point a finger and project a bolt of magical energy that stutters in and out of phase until it reaches the target. Make a ranged attack roll against my target's AC. Okay. Cool. She got a 12 on her attack roll. Does that hit their AC? Yes, it does. Awesome. Okay, that's gonna be 3d4. Another seven on the one that's closest to me. I can't hit more than one. So just the one that's like right, right in front of Duzon. Seven. That is piercing damage. So that's two actions, and, and now I have one left, and I guess I'll, I'll uh, just only take one action to raise the shield. I'm gonna use my um, my dueling cane for the counts of the shield since I have the um, scabbard, and I'm gonna raise the shield with that. It doesn't. No defensive parry. Okay, so it doesn't. So I can't raise the shield with it. That's fine, I'll just do that. But that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, cool. I'll take that. And that's it, it's my turn. Oh God, terrified. Get my 20 armor class, so that's good from the shield spell. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, my God! You know what, God? I don't. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's good. Um, quick question before I calculate the damage. We did receive the benefits of a bone rest, so I'm at full, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, three All points right. Of acid damage. Three points of acid? Okay. Oh! That's not good. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. Basic fortitude coming right now. Uh, I'm not sure.
So with modifier. All right. In that case, that's a twenty-two. Uh, cool. All right. So that's. So what is the actual damage? Is it three? So I took three acid, no, and then the constriction the damage. The right, right. I'm just trying to make sure I sort out the proper calculation. You take uh, four bludgeoning, half to two. Okay. And you take two acid, half to one. Okay. All right. Yeah, I just want to make sure I get my hit points right for that uh, unique situation. and kill these things so I don't have to. Slam his fists into the slime repeatedly until it just flats and it's membrane 
Oh, good, good, good. It's one of them is gone. That's impressive. One. Oh, no. Oh, lovely. It's giving me a group hug. Oh. oh. Uh-huh. Twenty two hits. Oh, my armor. Oh. Okay. So, two points of acid. Great. Wonderful. I don't know what happens if I'm immobilized. Never mind. Uh, this thing has not grappled yet, so it can't develop it yet. Awesome. Oh! Oh, that's great! Well, at least it can't envelop me like the other two could. <laughs> uh, um, 18. I still have the plus one bonus to my AC from shield, yes? Yes. Uh, 18 meets it. Because oh, okay. the flat footed. Yep. So then it hit the 20. Yep. The never ending saga of poor Rari getting lobbed. Uh, I figured as much. Uh, I'll have it up. Okay. All right, that's a 19. All right, and number two, 16. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Dear God. He's just a boy. Well, things are definitely not looking good for Rari. You take seven. Okay. From both the success and the fail. Okay. So, so that's eleven total from the both attacks. No, I mean combined it's seven. Oh. 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 Okay. So all of that together is seven. Yes. Okay. Oh, I was scared for a second. I thought I was actually like taking 11 from both things for a moment or 7 from both things that made 14 okay 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 cool Darkness, my old friend. Ah. Uh. Yes. Uh, does a twenty-two hit you? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. You have shield and uh, raised shield, right? Or no? 
I had I'm my shield up, but it's only up to 21. Oh. Well. Alright. I'm just like... Oh no. Welcome to the gra- uh, welcome to the group hug, Pete. I got three of them. What? What's that symbol mean on the corner of it? Of the slime? Yeah. Uh, that's just telling you that the slime has split and cannot split again. Okay. Can they all do that? Perhaps. I don't know. Uh, all I know is I'm being group hugged and I'm probably gonna die. One's an 18. Second one's a 19. Uh, you pass both, so you take uh, four total damage. Okay. Uh, two of which is one and eight, two of which is acid. Okay. Please, Eripathos, I'm begging you. I need help. Whoops. Just oh. that. Whoops. Oh, oh. Boy. Uh, it is Erpathos's turn. It's Erpathos's turn. So the shield that you cast on him drops. Oh, uh, great. Let's see. You said I'm resistant to piercing damage, right? Kill it, please, please, please. Interesting. Uh, I need it. That's a nat 20. Okay, you can do whatever you want. I want to... Is there... Is there... Is there... Are they, like, at my feet? Yeah, they're pretty much at your feet. I want to... I want to absolutely freaking smush one of them. Like, I just want to take my hammer and the blood and go... Uh, Would it be a crit or just normal? Uh, Bad squishy, bad squishy. Bad squishy. Is that there a condition is. for silent uh, for being silenced by something? Yes. 
No, I'm just wondering, like, if if my group hug is truly embracing me. <laughs> no, you are not. <laughs> not. Okay, okay. I'm fearing for my life. I'm gonna hit it again. Oh, it's dead? Oh. Even yeah, better. squish it went oh, and like, squish it's gone. So it lets go of me, right? Yeah, it can't grab you anymore because it's dead. Okay. So then I'm gonna... Rari, how are we looking over here? How much health you got? Um... Rari's not looking good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead over here, which will be my second action, and I'm gonna use Lay on Hands on Rari. Yes. All right. Be sure to mark off your spell point uh, as a uh, uh huh. And you can only use it if he gets six um, health back, and he gets a plus two on his AC to the end of the round. Okay. Okay. That's. Let's go oh, back yeah. up to a 20 somehow. This is going to be really tricky. However, my mouth is still op uh, able to open and talk, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to use two actions. Um, I have no idea how this really works. Because I'm being grappled by three slimes, essentially. Uh, I, I believe I could choose between line or cone. Or, yes, I can choose. Let me let me double check my cobalt stuff. Oh uh, wait, maybe not. Uh, nope, it's a line, so I can only choose one. My bad. Uh, it's not like I'm I'm mixing up D and D stuff with the co with like. Break Warden, whatever. That's not what this is. So that's my bad, Don. So it is a line. Uh, that would be if I up choose to upgrade it to a Dragon Breath. Do I get the choice? Which I might, right? But not, not yet. We're nowhere close to that yet. Um, so I am going to Lightning Breath. Um... Um, not, well, obviously I can't let me breath that way. These guys, or this guy right here. Uh, it needs to make a basic... Basic saving throw against class DC. It is going to be a reflex. Uh, Alright, it needs to be the DC of 18. As a 16. That fails. So I, it is going to deal, well, I am going to deal it 1d4 damage. Lightning. That is four damage, lightning. Um, is there a way on my last action to try and break free from one of those three? Or did the lightning do anything to, you know? Okay. Great. All right. 
Um, on the hypothetical, I want to break free. Um, oh, and that's another thing I forgot to do. I need to roll a d4 to see when I could use my cold blood breath again. Three turns. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not good. Um, can I try and break free, or is it impossible now that it's since there are three? Okay, um, which, uh, flat world, no, nothing, right? It's just, what? Oh, yeah, that's great. Um, that's a 17. 17. Yes! All right. Uh... And that counts as an action, yes or no? Okay. Um, I'm gonna escape from this guy. Still grabbed, but one less. Uh, before Rari wraps up his turn, he's just gonna be like, Duzon, get me out of their grasp, please. I'm not I, doing too hot. I am trying. <laughs> Is this the one you attacked? I am free from. I attacked this one. Okay. He's gonna provide the strategy for this guy right here. I'll be right back. I'll be using the restroom. <laughs> she attacked him. Uh, D20, please hit him. He does a. Uh, I'm not attacking him. I'm gonna see if I can if I can hit him. If I attack him, if I move over and I attack him. Oh, so you're devising a strategy. Yeah, I'm devising a strategy right now. Yeah. Um, would an 11 be able to hit him? Would an 11 hit? Oh, cool. Okay, so then she's definitely just gonna go over to attack him, so she's gonna... She's gonna move, I would say, probably right here. And, um... That'll be one of the actions. That add like a, a bonus to the thing. No, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I guess uh, in general, you know what? I forgot you, you didn't even remember. I'll just try to recall college one more time to be like, you know what? I know I remember something about these guys, and I wanted to, to I can share it with everybody else. If like I if I recall the knowledge check and I critically succeed, I can share it with everybody else. So they all get like a bonus whenever they try to attack them. So I'm trying to critically succeed. It's probably not going to happen, but I at least got to try. Mm -hmm. Well, let's have peace, right? Let's have peace. That was a seven, so he's still like, ah, I, they're squishy, and I think they, yeah, I got hurt when I slapped them. <laughs> yeah, okay, when I um, hit him with my blade scar, that's going to be a... Alright, I've returned. One, two, three. They don't, they don't take, um, precision damage, so that's not gonna count. Six. I got six. That's six, six, yeah. six flashing damage. Oh wait, but I add my uh, intelligence to that. Uh, not to the damage. You add your. Uh, is your star finesse? Yes. You would add your 
my dexterity. Okay, my dexterity is two, so that's six plus two, which is eight. I can add my intelligence. When I devise a strategy, I can add my intelligence to it instead of um, dexterity or strength. That's for the attack roll. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Yeah, so eight. Are you splashing gimmick on this line right here? And that's. I move and I attack it. Flip again. <laughs> These things just don't quit with the split, do they? Okay. Mm -hmm. That was one free action, two actions. I only have one action left. Uh, I can't do anything mean it. I mean, I could probably attack again, technically. Mm -hmm. I'd have a, a minus one nine on my attack roll if I attacked again. Uh, you would get a... Let's see what you would get. Uh, if you attacked again, you would get... Uh, your blades are right. Yeah. You get a plus one instead of a plus six. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what, I can take that. I'll, I'll take that. I'll attack the one again that's right in front of him, right there. That was tiny. I can still reach. Yeah, I can still reach it. Cool. Oh, uh, the same. For the future, friends, I was wrong. You use your strength for your damage for your weapons. All right, strength. That's for that. right here on the finesse. You still use your strength modifier when calculating damage. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I got you. Cool. Um, I'm gonna hit the, uh, the one in front of me when I hit that again. Or, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. Or, oh, actually, you know what? Cancel that out. No, no, no. No, 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 no hitting, no hitting. Because I, I just realized I'm very vulnerable right now. And I have the shield spell as a cantrip because of my tattoo. So I'm going to just put the shield on me. That's it, yeah. Misses. Or sorry, 11. Misses still. Okay. That is that slime's turn. Oh, thank God.
Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so my slime split too? Is that what I understand? One yeah, of my slimes? slimes have already split. Okay, cool. So that's two slimes that are no longer grappling me? What does that mean? Uh, that's what I meant. I don't like the sound of it, but, uh, oh, does that mean I'm dead? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, what do I need to save? Reflex fortitude. Thank goodness.
19. Pass. All right. Good at trying to swallow Rari, though. Okay, shit, okay. Uh... I already used my own hands on Rari. So what does the red mean on these? Okay, that is good enough for me. Which I'm gonna take this guy six. and... What's up? I have a plus seven to my Warhammer attack on my first attack. Can I roll a crit though? You're right, so I guarantee to hit. So I'm just gonna hit with my Warhammer and just smush him. Nine. Yes. Then I'm gonna hit him again because, you know. Unless he's dead. He's not. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him again. This time I only get a plus two, so I am gonna roll the hit. That is a 17! Nice. That is six. Alright, uh, kill this slime. Yeah! And then I'm gonna raise my shield once more and end my turn. Never mind, I'm gonna hit this slime that's up near Rari. And. Monkey. I believe this is minus. one. That's net one. Sure. 
I should be fairly decent at athletic. And uh, that I am. I have a plus seven. That is a fourteen. Okay, good. All right, end my turn from there. All right, I have two turns before I get my cobalt breath back, so I can't do that. I am gonna attempt to. Okay. Two slimes are grappling me. Yes. yes. Is that my understanding? Okay. I'm gonna. And it's an action each to break free from both, right? Yes. All right, two actions, two, um, what type of saves? Uh, All right. 21. And 29. And on my last action, Rari is going to stride, and he is going to go 5, 10, 15, and 20, and that's where he's calling it. <laughs> Yes. Mix it. Your turn. Yeah. I think so. I guess Prince could type his action, maybe? seem to be a common denominator today. Still fighting? Yeah, you're still fighting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's almost over though. Most of the slimes are splanted and pop all the slimes to so double check. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, is it my turn? Okay, that's probably okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, easy. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Devise stratagem on this little dude right there. You know, you know how we do it already. We might as well just get it over with. No, uh, Prince, we cannot hear you. It says you're speaking. You can't hear me. Oh wait, now I can't hear Dawn either. Hold up. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I think Discord's being weird because they kept changing my settings when I went back into it. Yeah, and now I can hear you guys again. It cut all of you out simultaneously. What is with the technology tonight? I don't know. It, it knew we were being too powerful together. It just wanted it to tear us apart. Maybe the real power is the friends we made along the way. Oh my god, Don. I mean, <laughs> Rob. Wow. 
Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna roll me a d20. We gotta do it. We gotta do a knowledge check. We got to. What's the DC again? Uh, the DC is 23. Awesome. Awesome. I can beat it. That is a... 8... Plus... 6! Oh my god! Oh, so that's, um... That's 24. All right, because you crit, you can successfully devise that these are giant amoebas. Uh, yeah. And they are extremely vulnerable to slashing damage. Awesome. That's it? Nothing like fire or anything? Uh, it's... You can also devise that they are... Okay, got you, got you, got you. I'm like, oh, I under, I finally get it. I read about these. They're immune to all damage except, well, they're not immune to all damage. But they're immune to most damage, and they're very susceptible to slashing damage, but they do have a tendency to split. Hmm, why didn't I remember that in the beginning? Probably because I was too busy getting attacked. And then I, I relay this to everyone, so everyone gets a plus one circumstance bonus to, um, uh, attack rolls against these things. Well, I don't have a slashing kind of weapon. I'm more used to stabbing things, but yeah. good information nonetheless. I the range, and then I already rolled for, so I knew I'm gonna hit him. So I'm definitely going to lay guard him. Obviously, might as well just do it. <clears throat> that is a one d six, and we're going to roll. Or, uh, you said strength, right? Uh, you add your strength to the damage, so, yeah. That's a fat, big fat zero. Thank you. <laughs> uh, which slime are you attacking? Uh, one, literally this one. Okay. Because I don't have to move to get it. We'll see why. That is the... Uh, That is a four. Alright, it's still alive. Damn it. Why won't you die? Okay. Uh, that was that it. No, I'm I'm gonna cast this I'm gonna cast the um phase bolt at it. And so I have to uh target its AC. And that's gonna be a uh thirteen. That's gonna hit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I'm just, I'm rolling against its AC. Oh, okay. Its AC is 8. Oh, I got a 12. Alright, and it's how much damage is Okay. 3d4, uh, piercing damage. That is 5. Alright, that kills that one. Awesome. Yeah, I just send a lance of magical energy at it. <laughs> And that is my turn. Alright, so you hit this thing with lances of powerful golden energy, uh, and it just splatters. Nice. Funny enough, it's dead, so it, it, that skips its turn. Uh, Sun Vodar. <laughs> uh, he's gonna continue attacking the slime number one. Oh, he's surrounded.
Is the music still playing? I hear it. I don't know why I can hear. I can't hear it. Okay. I'm so stupid. I'm so angry at myself. I had a skill and I didn't use it when I could have. It's not combat. Skill. There we go. It's back. Role playing, but I'm gonna use it as soon as we're out of combat. Duzan didn't get him done. Hey, the, tire, the more tired I am, the better I can do his voice. There. Back. I'm yeah. assuming a 12 does not. Go. Neither does a 15. Go. Neither does a 12. Go. Definitely not. Uh, Okay, so... This, alright, so, uh, this guy right here... I am going to smash him with my warm hammer. Does a 14 hit. Yes, it's DC. Nice. That's good to it must be in the tail. That is ten plus three thirteen. Thirteen? Okay. Uh fuck yes. Okay, so it does not have a focus. So it's very nearly dead. It's still barely alive. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna hit it again. Okay, 
<laughs> I love how I, I wanted him to be the least violent character that I have, but he's becoming one of the most violent characters besides Cleep and like, a couple he's others. Like, I like how like, uh, you can summon up as Smash, it's not dead yet, Smash, it's not dead yet, Smash. Yeah. The idea was they didn't want to give him something like a sword or an axe because he didn't want to believe in slashing. Plus, hammers are more versatile anyway. That is true. True. Does a five hit? No. I'm gonna try one more time. One more time. Do you think the true? No. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have, a, I have a little sister, so that's the only uh, way I hear that song. Uh, what'd you get for your last attack, Peter? Fifteen. That hits. Okay. Seven. You kill it. Yes! <laughs> you see <sighs> one last back. slime Bob. in this room. That ends my turn. Rory. Ah, oh, perfect. Rory is going to use his first action to stride to the slime. It is flanked. Perfectly. Um, alright, I am going to roll to hit him with my rapier. If you roll higher than a six, you hit him. Don't forget that. Perfect. Oh, I definitely hit him with a 22 to hit. Well, there you go. Too bad you can't crit on these things. Oh, it would have been so delicious to crit on this creature. All right. Ten points of piercing damage. All right. Attack number two and my last action. That is going to be, and the penalty was, yep. What's the accuracy penalty for agile slash finesse weapon? Uh, minus four, I think. Uh, your rapier is not agile. Your rapier is not agile. I know, it's finesse. Does that matter? 